right, we're gonna try to do this in a five step process and um, I'm gonna take you to, through each step and show you what I'm doing. So this is how I would mix it. This is how I would get it, you know, I would get the kick and the bass, everything to hit harder and mesh together. So first step right here, I'm gonna copy this, copy the volume. So I'm gonna put this back to regular. So this is your the melody. You know, the main instrument. And you also had the uh, side chain on, on this as well. So this is with it off. So this is the main instrument, everything playing without the side chain. You know how to sound, now this is with the side chain. Now if you notice, like, when I'm trying to talk, like, I'm getting very really close to the mic. But it's hard to do what I'm saying. And of course, right now we got some lag, so don't mind that. But it's really loud. So the first thing I would do is turn off the side chain and listen to the main melody here on your mixer. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it down until where you can hear. If you got a mic, pull it down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Now you can hear yourself. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh. so you can still hear the vocal, but you can hear the melody as well, but the melody is not in the way of the vocal. So you're essentially taking and giving. We're taking a little bit of volume from the melody and giving more volume to the vocal, giving more room. Next thing I would do is, now if you wanna keep that side chain on, keep that melody up there real nice and high and loud, it is possible to mix like that, but I believe that when you do that, you're gonna be fighting constantly and you might make changes to other instruments or other things that don't need to be changed. Um, that's just my opinion. So I would just take that down a little bit. Now, if you come over here on your drum bus, this is a native instrument. It's called FL Studio. It's a Fruity Blood Overdrive to get you know, we routed all those drums to the drum bus. So on the drum bus, I put it through the overdrive. This is with it off. This is with it on. This is giving it a little lift. Now as far as the bass goes, there's many things you can do with the bass. You might not have these instrument, uh, excuse me, these uh, VSCs. Or plugins. Um, this one's called C6. This one's called Low Air Mono. And this one's called uh, Renaissance, Renaissance X Mono. So, to do something that's native in FL Studio that you can use, um, I would simply use. Let me see. Something simple, 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 simple. I'm so used to using, you know, these other plugins now. I've become accustomed to them because um, I've always wanted to just, you know, kind of get better and go in. But any of these that I'm using can definitely work. You have to do a little bit more tweaking, but they can work. Fruity bass boost. So you want to be careful when it hurts on how far you go up and how much you're boosting. So this is without Fruity bass boost. That's with fruity bass boost. That's heat. It can be done with native, excuse me, it can be done with native instruments. Now, that's probably too much, so we will pull back on the amount. And I like these type of plugins for FL Studio, the native ones, because right now what you're looking at is like, you get to hear. If it sounds good, it is good, no matter what. If it sounds good, it is good. So when you mix in with these instruments, these plugins, excuse me. When you mix them with these plugins, once you get something that sounds good, leave it alone. You don't have to get to so much of the technical side. The best thing is good to learn. Excuse me. It's good to learn this stuff, but basically the ultimate rule is if it sounds good, it is good. So we're gonna pull back off that a little bit. We're gonna turn it off to compare.
right there. So there's three steps. Pull down that instrument, make it a little bit lower. Um, the side chain thing, unless you side chain it to the vocal or something similar, uh, you know, any other instrument, I, I probably would leave the side chain off. So side, pull down your instrument, turn off the side chain, move it to your drum bus, use fruity, fruity blood overdrive, um, and then fruit, the bass bus, bass boost. So with blood overdrive, we're going to step back a little bit. This is the color. Color is basically like saturation. That's good. It makes it sound, it makes it sound louder. You got a pre-band, which I wouldn't use on this, and then you got a preamp. I'm gonna copy the value with the preamp, and we start here. And you just raise it up to where you like it. You don't wanna push it too hard. And it's just like just overly doing it, and that's not what we want. We want a nice mix, and then you got your post game, which is after you've done the effects, how much coming out. And uh, I believe this is on default, which that sounds good. You can adjust it to your liking, though. Like if you did push it up here, you wanted it high head hitting harder like that because that's it seems like that's what that's affecting more when you have it up like that. You can do that, but I'm gonna put it back. I'm definitely gonna put this back. The amount is uh, basically the pre, uh, the post. Same thing on here, so, excuse me. The post game, that's basically the same thing when you do the amount here. You can push this up to 100 hertz. I think it's overkill though. Just, like I said, just me. You put it at 80. To me, 60, get that bottom end nice. It uh, gives that full feeling. Why don't you put it on there? Bass is, uh, low bass, sub bass is meant to be felt, not heard. When your speaker's hitting, it's definitely going, you know, that this bass boost is definitely going to give you what you want. Let's say, excuse me for the lag. I don't know why I have the lag right now, uh, but I wanted to get this done for you. So, do... These steps, like play around with them, pull this down a little bit. Like I said, you don't want the artist or the rapper on here trying to sing or rap and they're fighting with the melody. They like the melody, but they don't want the melody in the way of them rapping. You know what I mean? So you don't want to fight. So if you want people to rap on it, pull down on the melody, you know, 6 dB or so. We pull down a lot, but you have to play with it and kind of see when your vocal is clear. And, and leave it there. You can always, after that, be pushed up, mixed, or whatever the case may be. As long as they can hear it, though. Yeah. Um, it's, it's clear. I'm not fighting. My vocals not fighting with the melody. I'm good. So, I'm going to work this one more time. Turn the melody down. Turn off the side chain. Take the drums, add blood overdrive, which is a distortion tool to make the drums hit harder. It distorts it. Uh, and then you want to do the fruity bass boost, which is a bass booster. Essentially, it's adding some uh, harmonic saturation to boost up 
your uh, base. So what's that? One, two, three, four. No. It's about four or five tips there. I might have did more, but if you kind of play with those specific things right off right now, that'll kind of start getting you where you want to go at. And uh, we'll go more in depth later. All right. Hey, man. Shining out.